Good morning, GMS. I'm Allie Alexa. And I'm Lily Williams. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of May 3rd. Registration for the 2021-2022 school year is open. Tell your parents to visit the Greenwood homepage and click the link to register. Sports Physical Night is on May 26th from 6 to 8 o'clock p.m. at the high school main gym and the Student Activity Center. No registration is required. Be sure to bring $20 in cash or check. Go to door 31N and masks must be worn. Attention 6th grade girls! The Girls Spring Basketball Clinic starts May 12th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. The clinic is at Greenwood High School and it is only $40. If you want to join, contact Coach Bennett at jbennett at gws.k12.in.us. iLearn continues this week. Make sure to bring headphones or earbuds. If you have a school on computer, be sure to charge it so it's ready for your testing. Attention 8th graders, in order to provide fun for the 8th grade exit, the PTO needs donations. If your parents are willing to donate $8.50, that would help the PTO greatly. Tell your parents to send cash or check made payable to GMS PTO. Students can give their donations to Mrs. Hawker Smith. Now, let's go to the interview of the week, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to GMS News Show the interview of the week. I'm David Brinson, here with the the GMS principal, Mr. Sun. How are you doing today? I am doing well. How are, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, thanks for asking. Yeah. Would you like to start a bit by telling us a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, sure. I'm uh, personal life. I'm married. I've got two kids. One's 22 and one's 19. I have lived in this area my whole life, except the first six months. I was born in Texas, but we moved here. And then I've been at GMS uh, my whole career. This is my 20, uh, maybe eighth year here at Greenwood Middle School. I used to teach social studies for 10 years. Then I was the assistant principal and athletic director for 10 years. Then I've been the principal the last seven or eight years. So... That's in a nutshell. Why do you, why did you choose to be a principal instead of a teacher? Well, I got into teaching uh, at first because I had some really influential uh, teachers in my schooling. Uh, I absolutely loved and loved how they taught and just their, what they did as a career. So I got into teaching and then kind of the same story. I had some very influential administrators that I worked under that uh, kind of piqued my interest uh, becoming a principal. So I looked into it and here I am. That's cool. What kind of movies do you like to watch? Oh, uh, I love to watch movies. I love to watch TV. Um, I, there's not one, I guess, type of movie that I like. I like uh, to give you an example. Probably my some of my top five movies are both The Godfathers as well as Dumb and Dumber. So I have a really wide range of what I like. I'll tell you what I don't like. I used to. I don't like scary uh, movies anymore. They just they don't tickle anything in my brain to want to watch. So I uh, I kind of stay away from those. But I'll watch just about anything. Yeah, I don't like scary movies very much either. Yeah. I did, I think, as, as younger as a kid, but they, there's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, I just don't watch them. Yeah, I don't either. Have you, have you seen uh, Dumb and Dumber or anything like that? You like I've, seen, I've seen clips of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's funny. Yeah, I laugh every time. Yeah. If you could change one thing about GMS, what would it be? Uh, I'll tell you, uh, this is going to sound a little odd, but I wish we could bring back, they used to make homemade yeast rolls in the cafeteria. They served them, uh, warm, uh, with a little bit of butter. And I'll be honest with you in the morning when they started cooking them, that smell would just go down the hallways and in the room and everybody got a little excited because, uh, they were delicious. I wish I could change uh, to bring those back. Don't think I can, but that's something I really, really miss. It's, I know it's a small little thing, but uh, it's just one of the things that made me happy. Was this at the old middle school or this one? It was at the old middle school. Yeah, the, uh, 
with, with different changes and federal nutrition, which is probably better for kids, but uh, we had to change a lot of things that we did in the cafeteria. Um, there used to be a lot of deep frying. There used to be a lot of hostess treats offered, um, which probably wasn't the best for young kids, but uh, it was delicious. Yeah. Do you watch the JMS News Show? And if you do, what do you think about it? Well, David, you asked like people don't watch the show. I thought everybody watched the show. Um, absolutely, I watch it. It is usually the highlight of my day uh, when, when I choose to watch it. I absolutely love what you guys do, uh, being creative and just producing some really neat things. And uh, I appreciate you guys putting in the work and uh, doing what you do. Yes. What's your favorite segment? Um. I actually like this last one where you guys did a little bit of, uh, of everything from the claymation to, you know, all that stuff. It was really, uh, really kind of neat. It was like a variety show almost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming out to our show this week. Mr. Sutton, have a great day. You too, David Brenton and the GMS News Group. I appreciate it and uh, have a great day, buddy. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Kate, and let's get started with number three. Recently, the world's oldest bird hatched a chick at 70 years old. Wisdom, the midway albatross, got a number banned by a scientist to track her when she was five. When he returned, he found she was still alive at 50 years. Albatross are only expected to live 35 years, so he was surprised to continue his research. Wisdom had laid the egg in late fall of last year and hatched eight in the, la in the past 11 years. Albatross are expected to mate once, but Wisdom has had multiple. Do you think she will hatch any more? Number two, an employee at a local dentist office in California got scared when she heard a crash and soon found out a turkey burst through the window into the patient consultant area. Donna McDonald, the office manager, heard a crash and thought it was an earthquake because she was the only one in the office. She ran to the scene to soon find out it was a turkey. The large turkey was clawing at the walls, trying to get out. The turkey ruined the walls and the window to where they had to deep clean and redo the whole room. Clearly, the turkey just wanted a teeth cleaning. Number one, when life gives you oranges, make electricity? The over 48,000 orange trees that pervade through the streets and corners of Seville, Spain not only fill the air with the pleasant smell of orange blossoms during the spring, but also cause 16,500 tons of fruit every winter. Although that gives the capital of southern Spain, Adolcia, region bragging rights because they are Europe's top orange producing city, the oranges are too astringent to be eaten fresh. Some of the fruit is used to produce other foods like orange marmalade and orange liquor, but most of it ends up in the landfills. However, someone had the shrewd idea to use the fruit to make clean energy. This will help reduce the waste in our landfills, which flows into our oceans and hurts sea creatures, causing them to suffocate and die. With this ingenious idea, we are saving animals and getting the benefit of clean energy. That, that's all for Top Trending. Thank you. See you next week. Hi, welcome to GMS Sports, everybody, and these are the top sports of the week. On Monday, May 3rd, 2021, boys golf away at John Woodman Middle School at 4 p.m. Girls tennis home versus Franklin Middle School uh, at 5 p.m. Track and field away at Clark Pleasant Middle School at 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, May 4th, boys golf home versus Center Grove Central at 4.30 p.m. Girls tennis away at Center Grove Central and North at 5 p.m. 
on Wednesday, May 5th, Boys Golf Home versus Paul Hadley at 4.30 p.m. Girls Tennis Away at Paul Hadley at 5 p.m. On Thursday, May 6th, Track and Field Away at Shelby Middle School at 5 p.m. Girls Tennis Away First Round County Championship at 5.30 p.m. On Saturday, May 8th, Boys Golf Home County Championship, Girls Tennis Away County Championship Finals. That's it for sports this week. Have a great week, everybody.